from the KATC Weather Lab. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, we continue to stay in a pattern that's going to keep scattered showers and thunderstorms. The daily chance going from mid morning through mid afternoon. High pressure, the dominant feature, but we're on the periphery of that high. We continue to see this easterly flow a little bit in the way of a few disturbances rolling around that high pressure ridge and then tropical moisture coming out of the Gulf of Mexico. All spells scattered storms now around this super hot ridge of high pressure where we've seen triple digit heat for weeks on end. Texas, Oklahoma, we have had very intense storms across uh, the Midwest up through Missouri and that produced tremendous amounts of rain last night. Earlier today, we'll get to that in just a bit. Still ongoing moisture in the desert southwest and that is good news there for some folks and we key in on rainfall that's occurred in the last 24 hours and you see some rain out in the desert, but it really sticks out across the nation's midsection where upwards of 9, 10, 12 inches of rain, in some cases even more than that fell in less than 24 hours. St. Louis setting an all time record over nine inches of rain in 24 hours. Their previous record was seven inches back in the Galveston hurricane of 1900 that worked its way up through the Midwest and interacted with a frontal boundary apparently and produced all that rain up there. So high end the weather event ongoing across the nation's midsection. Meanwhile, we get down into Louisiana over the last 24 hours. You can see who got the most rain, mainly Lafayette, Iberia, Eastern Vermilion Parish on East eastward highest rains out by the Atchafalaya Swamp and then over towards southeast Louisiana. Very typical summer scenario and then you get back to the west. Not much rainfall across southwest Louisiana, western Louisiana where rain chances have been closer to 20 to 30 percent over the last couple of days. Meanwhile for us, most of us in Acadiana, it was about a 40 50 percent type of day and that's what we have in the forecast as we cruise through the rest of the week. All is quiet though now on Power Doppler 3 so that is the good news but I'd be looking for a few isolated storms right near the coast to develop later on tonight. Here's the infrared satellite imagery. You can see how the showers and storms popped up and they moved off to the east. Kind of garden variety type showers and storms. A couple of locally heavy downpours. We'll see that again. Getting into the tropics. Busy in the eastern Pacific. Two systems. One burgeoning and another tropical storm that looks like it's going to be getting stronger with time. Meanwhile, we do have a couple of tropical waves. One across, uh, we'll say, the uh, Central America area through the southeastern Gulf. This should enhance our rain chances just a little bit on Friday and then a couple of other tropical waves that are not going to do much out in the tropical Atlantic and not only are we not expecting development over the next five days, but we probably can add at least another five on top of that. But that's going to change in a couple of weeks. Meanwhile, for us, we'll just watch these waves of moisture moving across the Gulf interacting. We have a frontal boundary off to the north of us. That's going to impact mainly northern Louisiana and you can see we're going to be in between reds area where there's a heavier shower or heavier moisture in the atmosphere and then some days we might see just a 20% chance of a shower too, but too difficult to forecast in time. And you can see the reds over our area on and off as we get well into next week as well. Maybe rain chances tone down a little bit next week as we see a little bit less atmospheric moisture and more stability in the atmosphere. But in the near term, count on a couple of scattered showers, maybe even a rumble of thunder first thing in the morning. Coastal parishes. The graph model has been our best model so far in this type of pattern over the last several days. And we'll stick with it. Scattered showers and thunderstorms, not much rhyme or reason to the activity. Activity generally building from the south and moving to the northwest during the course of the afternoon. Things quieting down and another pretty tropical sunset for tomorrow and then we do it all over again. Rinse and repeat for your Thursday and Friday offering much the same as well as we move on. We'll start to see a little bit more moisture off to the southeast of us. We'll see how it goes on Friday, but we should see a better chance of storms maybe a little bit later in the day on Friday. As for rainfall, hit and miss showers uh, one out of every two days you're going to get rain and on some days you're going to get a quarter inch and on other days you may catch an inch or two if you're lucky enough to be stuck under a thunder shower for more than 15 or 20 minutes or so so overnight tonight generally a quiet night warm and humid Fair to partly cloudy skies out there. Look for Jupiter. It's nice and bright after about one or two o'clock in the morning, rising in the eastern sky. Uh, new moon out there, so you don't get to see that. Just a crescent first thing in the morning, if you're lucky. 91 the high tomorrow with partly cloudy skies, scattered showers and storms. Your rain chance at about 40%. And notice as we go on our timeline, the model here, the uh, skycast model, indicating our best rain chances, at least in Lafayette, right around two o'clock in the afternoon. 40% on your rain chances tomorrow. 
tomorrow and Thursday. A little bit better as you head into Friday. Hopefully that cool keeps us on the cooler side of 90 degrees. And as we progress into the weekend, much of next week, not much change in the pattern with a pretty good chance of daytime showers and storms. Bottom line, keep that umbrella handy. You're going to need it and probably get two. One in the car. One That's right. Work, one with you. And maybe one at home. Maybe Very three. good right, advice. Right. Thank you, Rob.